Salmon steaks are one of my favourites. And towards the end of spring, early summer, it's a really good time to eat them. And how I'm going to cook the salmon is skin side down, started on the stove, finished in the oven, so I get a nice crispy skin, pink flesh inside. I'm going to serve it with a tartar sauce, which is very simple to make, and buttered new potatoes. And the way I butter my potatoes, some people would think it was quite unconventional. I like a lot of butter, but I came from the French School of Gastronomy. Well, we used lots of butter, lots of cream. But if you don't like butter, a bit of olive oil, a bit of both. Less butter, your choice. And we just take our potatoes, we drop them onto the butter, just drain them. So there we are. A little bit of mint, some salt, and now we wrap in cling film. So I'll leave them somewhere warm now for about 20 minutes. And I'll toss them. So what they're doing is absorbing the butter, being infused with the mint. The seasoning's now penetrating them. And they're truly delicious. What a lot of people do is they, they boil them, drain them, in the dish, tiny bit of butter. But we all like butter with our potatoes, if we're truly honest. And so that, in my opinion, is the very best way of making a buttered potato. So pan, a little bit of oil, and make a tiny bit of fish paste for seasoning. Just dissolve the cube into a light paste. The great thing about pastes, they don't wash off when cooking. And also by using a paste, you season your fish evenly. Now into the pan. I don't mind if the pan for salmon is not 100% hot, because what I want to do is caramelize my skin, not scorch it. If, my, if I make my pan very hot, it scorches. So it's a hot pan, but not red hot. And I'll bring the heat up. And so by bringing the heat up, I slowly caramelize the skin, and then I pop it in the oven. I never flick it over. Because what happens is when you have a very hot pan, this tends to dry it. If you've ever had salmon which is dry, it's because they've cooked it on this side. So always cook it skin side down. Once that goes in the oven, it's six minutes, maybe five, depending on the thickness of your salmon. So as you can see now, the salmon is caramelizing very nicely. I'm not gonna turn it over. I'm gonna cook it now on the top shelf of the oven so it cooks from top and bottom. Otherwise, what most people do is they just flick it over and start to cook from that side. So about six minutes in the oven, but as I said, a watch is a guideline. So this has been cooking for just a little over six minutes. You can see, just by touch, you can see it's just firm, but it's still pink on the inside. This has not seen the base of that pan. So you see it's nice and crispy. Just a little lemon juice. So what we have to do now is drain our salmon. I always use a cloth for the simple reason is if you use a paper towel or a kitchen towel, the paper can stick to the fish. Now here's our potatoes, which have been I'd say almost 20 minutes and the butter and the mint with the salt. And you can see they've started to absorb it very nicely. Now the salmon. You could serve this separately, but I always like to put a little bit on. Since I put chopped parsley inside, I'm putting chopped parsley on the top. And so there's our salmon with the tartar sauce and buttered new potatoes. Salmon, end of spring, early summer, is a delicious time to eat it. We've got the New Jersey Royals coming into season. So new potatoes, salmon, great combination. Tartar sauce, which is a classic. Together it makes delicious supper.